Yo, what is up? So, we're not going to have an, a legit episode for until the 6th or 7th of finales, but we're going to drop something still every Tuesday, give you a little bit more deeper insight to the show, a little more deeper insight into what, like, what we do. This first one, though, is about it's just the video submissions um, from, uh, from the season, and um, hopefully have fun with it. It's going to be a good time. Hi. Hi, Bruce, and everybody that's looking at this to do the casting for the YouTube special. Um, I don't even really know where to start. I came out to my car. I'm in the garage <laughs> in my car because uh, my family's sleeping and I uh, didn't want to wake anybody. And so sorry about the no makeup and no hair fixed. I had been working in the yard today a little bit and on chores in the house. So Anyway, wanted to get this into you before the cutoff because I know if you're wanting to do it in June and July and August, I didn't want uh, to miss the cutoff. So anyway, um, this would just change my life if I got chosen. I literally last week was Googling if there was anything like a, a rehab or, a, you know, where you check in and you stay to get control of this, of all of this, of the emotional eating, of the binging, of the secrecy, of the misery, um, it's affecting every aspect of my life and I can't do it anymore. Um... And I'm ready. I'm ready to take it. I'm ready to beat it once and for all. I'm sick and tired of yo-yo and up and down and losing 30 and gaining 50 and losing, you know, every time I gain, it comes back faster and harder and heavier. And um, I'm over it. I'm ready to kick its ass, to be frank. And I have what it takes. I... I know I do. I have the support system at home to be able to come to Arizona or to have someone here with me filming all the time. I need that. I need somebody following me around, making sure I'm doing what's right. Um, I need somebody to teach me. I need to know everything you know. And I want to be a sponge and I want to learn and I want to work hard and I won't let you down if you pick me. Um, I won't. I won't let you down and I'm going to learn how to not let myself down through this and I can't afford the places that I did find online. <laughs> um, it's outrageous and I feel like this is a godsend. I saw this on your Instagram and on Heidi's Instagram and I feel like it is... It's what I've been waiting for. It's what I've been looking for. And it's the right time for me. It's the time of my life that I have, like I said, the the ability to come out there, to come, you know, be where I need to be and do what I need to do. And I have the support system here to do that. And I have a job that I think I can take a leave from. And I have 30 days of PTO saved up. So I know for that I'll be fine. So I hope to hear from you. I know I have what it takes, and I'm ready. I'm beyond ready. I'm terrified of where I'm at right now. Um, I'm terrified of what my weight has me um, being held back from or what it's doing to my body internally and, and externally and what it's doing to my marriage, my husband, and my girls. Oh, my girls. I want to be here for them. I want to teach them that they're worth it and... Teach them the right way. I've done the wrong way. I want to do right now. And um, anyway, I just, I really, I think I'm your, I'm your girl. I won't let you down. And I'm ready to kick this fat's ass. <laughs> Not this fat ass, but the fat's ass out. I'm ready to get it out of here. So um, thank you for your time. I've gone over my two minutes, but you guys are awesome. Thank you for your consideration and your heart to want to do this for somebody and praying and hoping to God that it's me. Um, cause I think it would be 
the best thing ever. It would be the best thing ever. So, okay, I'm excited just thinking about it. Please pick me. Okay, bye. Hi, my name is Pam beauchamp and I'm applying for Larger Than Life. I'm 52 years old. I live in Chico, California. And why do I want to do this? Um, I want to do it because it's... I want to do it because for me. Um, my whole life I've spent taking care of others and putting others' needs in front of mine. And I want to do for me that I am worthy of the effort. I am worthy of the hard work. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I told my coach, um, I feel like I'm going to do something big. I, I don't know what it is. I figured it was a CrossFit competition because I've, I've uh, been doing CrossFit for about four months or a, um, a Spartan race or something like that. That's kind of what I thought it would be. And then I heard about your, your little teaser couple, like maybe a week or so ago, whenever you did that. And then I heard your message and I thought, okay, this is the universe telling me that maybe this is the big thing that I thought I was going to be doing. Um, that's why I want to do it. I want to be brave enough to take this step. Um, I am a hard worker. I will do what you say. I will trust the process. Um, it's scary as hell um, to put yourself out there. It is scary as hell to wonder, do I have it in me? I mean, I do CrossFit and I do Spartans at home and virtual Spartans and I do all those things. And I've been fairly successful my whole life. But I sometimes walk the walk. Sometimes I talk the talk, the talk, but I don't always walk the walk. So I act confident and I'm not always confident. So I want to do this for me. I want to do this for me, and then what I want to do is I want to pay it forward. I want to turn to something big. Um, not really sure what that is, um, but I know I can do it if I have the confidence. I was about to shut the camera off. I've done this like four times. <laughs> um, I want this for me. Um, it's time. It's my time. Um, and I have all the pieces in place, and, and I'm able to do it. So I want it for me. So that's why I want it. Hello everyone, my name is Alexi. Most people call me Lexi or just Lex. I am 27 years young and I am living in Oxford, Mississippi, studying my master's degree in health promotion. And um, health is really important to me. Um, I've always been a bigger girl and I love how now we're kind of focusing on not so much just the outside and how you look, but the inside as well because I feel like that's just as important and when we talk about health, that means everything about us and not just, you know, the way that we look on the outside, but it's also the way, of, way that we feel about ourselves and how we spread, you know, the positivity into the lives of other people around us. I find that really important. I'm always smiling and laughing. I'm super giggly and bubbly and I just try to always keep a smile on my face and treat people with kindness. So I am a binge eater. Um, I had done really well and gone about a year without binges um, and I had relapsed. So now I am working on becoming binge free again. Um, like I said before, health is really important to me and I do know the consequences of, you know, me not um, following a healthy lifestyle and not just physically, you know, working out, but in, in what I'm eating, but also how I'm talking to myself and the words that I'm saying to myself, you know, that I would not ever say to anybody else. So working on that aspect as well. Um, I'm just really excited to, um, have a fresh start and to work on reaching my goals and, and striving for greatness. I know that, you know, it's deep down inside me, but I also know that I need that little bit of extra accountability and reassurance that I am worthy and that I am worth this journey. I want to be chosen for this because I know that I can get dedicated to it. It's something that will be able to drive me and push me beyond the limits that I can myself. And I know I need that extra push. Something that will allow me to be able to keep myself moving and going and driving some for something more 
and to be able to help hopefully coach me and drive me in the right direction to be able to make those life changes I need to make. This opportunity means change. And to be able to have a coach again, somebody that is there and will encourage you definitely, but won't pull the punches and will definitely drive and motivate you in a way that seems like I haven't been able to have since I was in wrestling. And that's something that I strongly desire and wish that I could have again. It seems like it's a once in a lifetime type of opportunity to be able to push myself beyond my limits. And that excites me. I know I didn't say this in the beginning, and I'm sorry, but my name is Tyler McGiven, and that these are the reasons that I want to be a part of this. It seems like it's something that will definitely be able to change my life, and hopefully whoever else might be getting chosen. And I uh, just want to thank and appreciate the opportunity. Hi, I'm Allison Tarak. I'm 40 years old, and I'm from Mesa, Arizona. I have been married for 14 years, and together we have three kids, 12-year-old daughter and two boys, eight and two. I work for Mesa Public Schools in the front office of an elementary school, and I absolutely love it. I enjoy stupid humor. Um, that's what she said jokes, and sarcasm is pretty much how I hug. I am also, with that being said, I'm also a very compassionate person, and really try to help people where I can, when I can, um, without becoming a doormat. And I have, I grew up here in Arizona, in Mesa. I have five siblings. Um, we've all struggled with, battled, embraced um, obesity. I have a brother that passed away in June of 2011 because of obesity. And 18 months later, my dad passed away from complications of diabetes because of obesity. So it runs thick in my family, and I would love the opportunity to learn some lifelong, lasting tips and tricks and lifestyle changes so that I can help my kids and prevent, help them prevent um, this the struggle that I've had my entire life. And there's so many ways out there and I've tried every single diet and fad diet and pill and trick everything that I and some have been good and successful but none have been lasting and that is the the biggest thing that I struggle with is finding what works and then sticking to it and making it last and knowing what is going to work so I would love this opportunity because I I'm, I'm finally at a place where I can honestly say that I'm worth it and I deserve it and I thank you for watching this. Hi my name is Crystal Knuth. I'm 24 from Wisconsin. I actually am a 2020 graduate this year. I got my master's in college student affairs which is really just being able to help support and develop students throughout their college experience. I'm a huge sports fan. Bucks, Badgers, Brewers, you name it and of course the Green Bay Packers. This is the vest I've had for four years. It's never been able to fit, but I'm hoping to one day have a nice long sleeve shirt under this and root on my favorite team. My family means everything to me, and I thought I would invite you more into my life. So I asked some people that know me best to be able to speak upon my personality for you to be able to get to know me better. Crystal Knuth is one of the most passionate and dedicated people I have ever met. My friend Crystal Knuth is the type of person who will drop off a snack at your house at 12 a.m. because she finds out you have a bad day. She's also the type of person that will figure out all of your life's problems and find a way to apply some insane metaphor that just makes sense and makes you feel better. Crystal is spontaneous. If you want to take a flight across the country, that's the person you'd want to take. Uh, she's very, very funny. Whenever you need a laugh, she'd give it to you. Crystal has a huge heart. Her outgoing personality allows her to make genuine connections with everyone she meets. She also puts her heart into everything that she does. Being friends with Crystal for over six years now, I can honestly say that she approaches every situation with a willingness to adapt and accept that challenge. And I honestly just cannot wait for her to accept your challenge and impact you as positively as she's impacted everyone else around her on a 
daily basis. So they all had nice things to say about me, but to be quite honest, this is probably the 15th take of this video, and I have officially polished off a whole bag of cocoa almonds because I'm just really insecure and fear that my truth isn't going to be good enough. But I have run from vulnerability my entire life. I have 290 pounds to prove it, and I'm even wearing an undershirt to try to suck some of this stuff in. Last year, I probably wouldn't have been making this video, um, but this book honestly has changed my life, and I'm doing this because it's for me. I am my motivation, and Brene writes in her book, my greatest personal and professional transformations happened when I started asking hard questions about how my fear of being vulnerable was holding me back, and when I found the courage to share my struggles and ask for help. I am at a point in my life where I am ready for these hard questions. I am ready to get over this fear, this damn fear of being vulnerable, and I'm asking for your help in this transformation journey or whatever we want to call it. So thank you so much for your time. And here is to larger than life. So, my name is Tara Isaac, and I'm kind of nervous about submitting this video. It is probably like 5.30 in the morning on a Sunday, and i seen that you guys had this, and I've been looking and waiting for something like this for the longest time. Um, I don't need anybody else to get me to where I need to be. I'm just looking for the tools to help me to get me where I need to be. Um, my biggest weight that I'd been was 311 pounds, and that was in June of 2019. Um, today is uh, May 17th, 2020, and I currently weigh 245 pounds. Um, I've changed my eating completely. Um, before, I would eat several times a day and didn't really care what I was eating or how late I was eating and, and whatnot, uh, to now where I measure my food, um, I prep my meals for a week out, uh, but I still struggle. I still, um, you know, have some flaws. Um, and I'm looking for anybody who's able to help me get to where I need to be so I can be here for my kids. Um, I have my oldest is 14 and my youngest is six, uh, but I run out of breath. I, I can't play with them still. Uh, it's, it's something where I never thought that I would be here in this shape that I am today. And the only reason why I ever decided to lose weight and get where I needed to be was when I couldn't put my socks on. I had to have my, at the time she was 13 years old, put my socks on for me as I got ready for work uh, because just with bending over, I'd be out of breath. Um, so today I'm submitting this video um, asking that you give me a shot, take a chance on me. Well, it's not necessarily a chance because I can guarantee the results that you want to see in somebody, you will see in me.